Hello, this is Imi from itradeams.com. This is part two of the video I made earlier, how I traded Swizzy today, the 29th of August. So in the video, I talked about um, this setup here and when uh, at that time price was here. And uh, we went to the M5 and we did some analysis. And at that time, price knocked against this level and it was coming down. And I talked about uh, this current wave five turning, possibly turning into wave three because that's what I expected. And I said, I haven't taken this trade on the M5. I've taken it on the H1 and I wanted it to, I was expecting or hoping it, that it would go there. And for that, uh, I thought this would be the one, two of the wave five up. Uh, so as we look at the M5, we can see this was a three at that time and this was a wave four. And then this was to be a wave uh, a wave five or a new so this is turned into a new wave three um, let me just play that video for you so or I, I'll, I'll link it below as well so you, I think it's it's best to watch that video and then come and watch this because that was done when price was here at this candle and then later on it went and we've already hit one target and the other entry is going to hit that so it's a very profitable trade. Right, so I have got that video, I've got it uploaded. And um, yeah, I'm gonna play it now. Low, which is lower than the previous setting up, and then continues to go up. This, ha this low, we call, um, uh, what do we call it? an ABC pattern in line with the peak of three. So if we were trading it on the M5 chart or something, and if you want to just quickly take profit, we'd think, you know what, it's already hit the level and it's gonna come around. As you can see, it's, it's reacting live in front of you because it's hit those levels. But what I'm thinking is that, what if it's a wave one up and two down? In that case, this wave that's going up can possibly turn into a new wave three. And that is exactly what we would like on the H1. So when it, when it turns into the wave three for the M5 chart, it will come somewhere there and then react and this three, four, five will be completed. Uh, and based on this information around here and based on this information, I actually added on one more time around here. So, I've just paused that video and as you can see, the price was here, it was coming down and then it created uh, another principle C within the M5 chart. Let's go there. As you can see, uh, I was showing earlier on the M15 chart. Uh, this is the M15 chart, as you can see. Uh, this was showing a, a one up and A, B, C down. Uh, but then after it broke, uh, it came, you see, it did this another A principle C on this as well. And like I was saying in the other video earlier, I was expecting it to become a new wave three. And I was thinking that this will go and hit that level. And that was the whole plan of it. And it's nearly there. So uh, I will see what happens in the next hour or two. I most probably bring my stop loss below this and let it uh, hit the target point. So I hope you learn something in this and you find value in this. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, let's make this channel um, accessible to everyone uh, and, you know, have more people around so it becomes popular. There'll be more people who could actually trade like us. Thank you.